our job is to really build a network and build technologies that can enable whatever dreams people want to have. So what's happening now could not have been predicted five years ago, ten years ago. So what we're trying to do is build this network and build this technology that will allow people to do whatever they want in five, ten years. I guess which ties in very nicely with what the BEF is trying to do, which is uh, build a network or build a build a foundations for what we will see in five, ten, fifteen, twenty years. Um, last year was the first time that we partnered with uh, the Barbados Entrepreneur Foundation to host the BEF Columbus Twenty Dollar Challenge, and this year it was uh, really a no-brainer to get involved again. Um, it, it, you know what the guys are doing it, it ties in very nicely with our mission about enabling the future and we've always been very very impressed uh, working with the team there and um, one other actual kind of mission statement or philosophy that our chairman Brendan uh, Paddock has is permission to fail and I guess some people might laugh at that why would you give someone permission to fail but I guess the idea behind it is that we want people to try things try new things and they're not always going to work out and I guess that's what being an entrepreneur is about and when I look at our company, we started 10 years ago, um, under 10 years ago, uh, you know, with Brendan Paddock, and uh, we now have over 3,000 people in 22 countries. So in 10 years, you know, and, you know, there's been some failures along the way and some mistakes. And I guess Brendan himself started out in Newfoundland selling worms as a teenager, um, you know, and went on to university and paid for his university by selling alcohol and cigarettes. Maybe you not, might not want me to say that, but <laughs> back, then it was, uh, back then it was fine. But I guess my point is we're, we're built on the spirit of entrepreneurship. And I know when uh, Brendan and John Reed met Peter in uh, Miami, it was a no-brainer. You know, I mean, it tied in perfectly with what we wanted to do. With several child-focused charities and sponsorships, we support Kitty Cricket and the Junior Monarch Program, which develop children in sport and culture, respectively. So we're really delighted to get involved with this developmental youth project. The second reason is that the $20 challenge is a great fit because it encourages entrepreneurship. And Scotiabank has become known as the bank for entrepreneurs and small businesses, supporting the sector through dedicated small business hubs and an ongoing series of educational programs such as the recent Upstart Caribbean seminar series and the upcoming Bank On Me TV show. We recognize the importance of innovation and entrepreneurship to the future of our economy and are pleased to support projects that encourage the entrepreneurial spirit. And the third reason that we were so impressed with the $20 challenge is that each child or team must put some of their profits towards charity back into the community. At Scotiabank, we recognize the importance of supporting the communities we serve throughout the globe and I congratulate the BEF for recognizing that it's never too early to instill the ethic of corporate social responsibility in tomorrow's leaders. The Barbados Entrepreneurship Foundation is a group of positive thinking volunteers who are willing to donate their time, services, resources and in some cases their money to do all they can to help promote the further development of entrepreneurship in Barbados. Since the launch of the foundation some four years ago, the BF Columbus $20 Challenge has grown into one of the BF's most successful and most meaningful national initiatives. The growth of the $20 Challenge since its inception in 2011 should primarily be credited to the very hard work of the many volunteers who have supported the cause, the generous sponsors who have financed the event and helped us make it bigger and better each year. And you guys, those members of the media, particularly the ones who have recognized the value of what we're trying to achieve for the country and have given us the good kind of news coverage that we need to help build even more momentum. We now need to focus more on producing young Barbadians were also enterprising. People who are bright, resourceful, imaginative, inventive, dynamic, adventurous, ambitious, and bold. People who can do what needs to be done to make things happen. People who don't just sit back and wait to see what comes their way, but rather people who go out there and build their own future. 
That is what Barbados needs, and that is what the $20 challenge is trying to help deliver. It's not just about entrepreneurship, but it's really all about enterprise. We cannot all be entrepreneurs. We might not all want to be entrepreneurs, but most certainly we can all be enterprising, whether operating in, in our own business as an employee, sorry, whether operating in our own business or working as an employee for somebody else, working as a civil servant, or even as a general way of life, we can all be enterprising. And that is the main role of the $20 challenge. We want to give those students an opportunity to discover what it feels like to be an entrepreneur, and in so doing, help them understand how being enterprising can make a hugely positive difference in their life. The best lessons we ever learn, all of us, come from real life experience. When I used to teach us, forever saying to, to my other teachers, remember this. Tell me, I forget. Show me, I remember. Involve me, I understand. And that's what we're trying to do with these young people. We're giving them a real life experience of starting and running their own business and doing so under real life pressures such as lack of money, insufficient time to get everything done, need to work happily within a team or with partners with other people and an obligation to still help other people while you're doing it and all the time still focusing on delivering top quality agreed to assist in the distribution of the funds needed in the challenge in a systematic, orderly and secure way over the next several weeks. Um, how does it work? It's a tangible experience for handling money. So we will be distributing smart cards where that $20 would be deposited and uh, the students will be able to access the, those funds through any Caris branded ATM machine. And then further, we give the students the opportunity to make deposits through our um, business development agents who would visit the schools and collect funds, obviously put it down on their account, issue receipts, and then you have the opportunity of viewing online your statement and your transactions during the period. So I think that is as real as you can get in the business world.